everybody what's up what's up what's up i believe you guys are seeing this on a wednesday so happy wednesday hump day to everybody out there sierra here if you haven't already met me i'm supposed to be a counselor this year but now i'm an arts and crafts expert so let's go through all of the supplies that we are going to need to make cardboard thinners today so each of you guys got a box with a bunch of stuff in it this week and your box is made out of cardboard so you're going to take a piece of that cardboard box with the scissors that are inside that box and cut a flap off whichever flap you want whichever looks the best to you whichever one you think is perfect for this project just give it a snip like I said scissors two pieces of white paper which are also in your box they should be markers whatever color markers you got in your box are perfect purple glue stick should be in your box string you should get string like this twine kind of looks like rope probably won't be this long A little paintbrush we're not going to be painting but you'll see this will be very useful towards the end and any household circular top that you have i use my peanut butter gif top any size you want as long as you can fit on the cardboard piece it's gonna work okay so the first thing you're gonna do you're gonna take a marker you're gonna take your top and you're gonna place it close to the edge like this right i hope you can hear me well just place it on top and you're gonna take this marker and you're gonna trace around the edge of the top so it should make a circle like that you can do it twice three times if you can fit however many circles you can fit go for it so i can only fit two which is okay take your scissors handy dandy scissors you're just gonna cut along and cut out the circles Hopefully, you're better at cutting than I am, because clearly, I can't cut for anything. So, let's hope you'll do a better job than me. Let's cut one out. Take your time, try and get it as precise as possible. Because you want these spinners to spin. You want them to spin good. So, just cut it out. It's a little time consuming. And, whew, first circle, cut out. Bam. One more. <laughs> the wizard the wonderful wizard of oz it's a great movie old movie good movie though Whew. your hands may get a little bit tired trying to cut these circles out but it's okay we're gonna do this together we're gonna get through this together almost Second circle, boom, done. Perfect. Now, as you can see, you can still see some of the green around the edges of my circles, but that's okay because we are going to cover these circles with the white paper. 
Oh, got my papers flying away. But more circles, guys. Ready? Cut out some circles. So once again, you're gonna stick the little circle on top of the paper, just like that. Actually, it'll probably be better to use whatever circular top you use to cut out the circles because it's probably a little bit less jagged on the edges than this cardboard that we got here. So you stick it on just like you did with the cardboard. Draw a nice circle around the edges. Could be any color, it doesn't have to be green. But you need two pieces of circular white paper for each side of your cardboard cutouts. So that's four circular white papers, okay? So, now that you know you need to make four because you need to cover both sides of our amazing cardboard cutouts. Just two more. can't mess it up just trace around the top go crazy with it have fun any color different colors get creative why not do whatever you gotta do handy dandy scissors and then you just cut out these as well these are a lot easier to cut out than cardboard because they're paper so it should be a lot easier for you guys to cut these circles out. Maybe not, maybe it won't be that easy. Cause following the lines seems to be getting a little complicated. But let's see. Think that looks good? Think so? Can you see any of the cardboard? I think it looks great and it's gonna go on both sides. So one side, two side, got three more to cut out. See? Hello. So I hope you guys are having a great start to your summer and that you guys are staying safe from the virus and being safe, washing your hands wearing a mask when you're in public because you know we really want to see you guys back at camp next year too so it's really 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 good to practice being safe and healthy and clean to stop the spread of the virus now we got two pieces one for the front just like that boom one for the back, just like that, boom. Now I do it one more time, because we got two pieces of cardboard. So sorry, got a notification. My phone might die. But that is okay, because we cutting out the circles that we need. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, such a bad singer. But when you got tunes in your head, can't help, just gotta let him out. Helps move the process along. Listening to music or, you know, <clears throat> a favorite band. Really help you with the creative process of it all. One more to go. This is also my first time ever making a cardboard spinner. So, it should be super interesting to see how these turn out, guys. I'm excited. Super excited. Oh my goodness, so time consuming to cut out circles from paper. You would never think. But just gotta make sure they're right. Now we got four holes in a paper. 
and four circles. For our cardboard pieces. Now carefully put the scissors to the side. And we're gonna go back to this handy dandy glue stick that came with the box. You're gonna take the glue stick. Oh, apparently they got a little plastic on it. So you make sure you wanna peel that plastic right off. Throw it in the garbage. And then you're gonna twist it up. Ooh, kinda looks like a, a crayon on top. Kinda cool. Take your cardboard cutout and you just go crazy. Go crazy. Get glue all on this cardboard cutout. You wanna get it all over, every little inch. You wanna try and get as much glue without ruining it as possible. See, just go back and forth, circles, around the edges, the top, the sides, the middle. You wanna get it nice and gluey so that your white paper will stick to it. Right? So all that purple glue compared to this, this is what it should look like. You're gonna take your little piece of paper, whichever one you want, and then you just lace it on top, push it down. Ooh, knocked over the glue stick. That glue on my arm. Push it down, make it look pretty, make sure it's even on all the sides. And boom, we've glued down our first piece of white paper. Now on to the other side. We do it all over again. Do, 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 do. La da dee, la da do, la da da. So, should be super fun. I mean, it's just glue. But you get to be creative with it. Draw a smiley face or a heart and color it in. But make sure you get every inch of the cardboard, just like that. You wanna make sure that every piece is covered. So once again, your white paper will stick. Cause that's the important part. You want the paper to stick to the cardboard. Right, right, right. Here we go. Side number dos or two in Spanish. You just push it down, push it down. You spin my head right round, right round. And now you have one finished cardboard spinner. Well, half finished. Not really. Almost. Almost there. Take your second piece of cardboard. And you know what to do, right? Glue. Let me try and see if I can get like a smiley face on here. Ta-da! <laughs> my masterpiece. How do you guys like it? So, you know, just go all the way around, top, bottom, sideways, circles, whatever you wanna do. Just have fun. That's what it's supposed to do, just have fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if you mess up, it's all right if you get some glue on your hands, cause so far I've gotten glue and marker on my fingers, so it's okay. Be a little messy, not too messy though. You don't want one to you. Okay, done with side number three. See paper? Kind of just lace it on, stick it down, boom. This is our last side. Mm -mm -mm. It's our last side. Mm -mm. Let me see if I can do like a little pretty picture with the glue. Let's see. Get some grass in there. Doing a little bit of grass, like the sun. Maybe. Hmm. 
a tree get a tree in there these trees are so pretty this time of year they're all green maybe a little flower mm. and boom this is my masterpiece masterpiece now i gotta cover it up <laughs> oh goodbye goodbye tree goodbye sun goodbye flower we must cover you in glue so that we can finish our project oops got some on the table let's clean that up All right, all right. Okay. And looks like we have finished our last side of cardboard with the glue. Time to put the paper on and stick it down, stick it down, stick it down. <laughs> And now you are left with two blank white cardboard pieces. Great. So now you're going to cover your glue top. Don't forget to cover your glue because it will dry out and then you won't be able to use it anymore. What fun is that? You need the glue. So close your glue tops, kids. Don't forget. Now you guys got to select a few markers in your boxes. So get those markers out, pick your favorite colors or whatever colors you got. If you have some more markers at home, use those too. It doesn't have to be just the ones from the boxes. And uh, pick whatever you want. You can draw on both sides, one side, whatever you want, and just get creative. Let's see, what should Sierra draw for the first one? Uh, I think... I'm gonna just do a bunch of colorful polka dots for the first side. Just gonna randomly throw some dots on there. See what we get. So started with some purpley pink dots. Then I'm gonna throw some red in there. Boop, boop, beep, boop. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Finish with the red. Here's what it looks like. Ooh. My dots are a little messy, but that's okay. I'm gonna add some yellow in. Not everything has to be perfect. As long as we like what we see. It is great. Everything it needs to be. Let's see, should I do orange, green, orange, green, hmm, we're gonna do green, we're gonna go with the lime green, oh I never showed you guys the yellow, can you see it, can you guys see it, hmm. now we got some green going, just some cute little polka dots, hmm, 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 hmm. A little bit you can do whatever you want to do because this is your project your spinner this one is for you so you draw whatever you like boom number one side finished I'm gonna flip it over blank side you don't like this side it's okay you get three more chances to do whatever you want to do i think i'm gonna do some spirals on this side maybe a green spiral and that's a spiral i know it's not the best spiral but it'll work then a little pink spiral maybe a yellow spiral orange spiral 
just use all the colors your imagination could possibly use. Ooh, it's a dark green. Wow. Just the two of us. Just have fun. Do what you want to do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dang, I used all the colors already. But I want to fill it up. So these are my spirals. I'm going to keep going. Because I want to fill up the, the entire thing. I want to make it look like it's full of spirals. Little spirals. Big spirals. All sorts of them. Because... You can't be wrong with your imagination. You can't. So, you can do whatever you'd like. And just have fun. That is the most important part of it all. Just have fun. hard i already used all the colors now i just gotta keep re going over them and just having fun i hope you guys are having as much fun as i am over here because i am having a blast ooh ooh ee ooh ah ah ting ting walla walla bing bing Okay, what do you guys think? Does that look good? Maybe I should add one right here. Fill up this gap right here. Yeah. Yeah. What color? We're gonna use this purpley pink color. And then we're gonna use this orange. And then we're gonna go back to baby blue. All right, finish. Ta-da! Ta-da! I got my polka dots. Mm, 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 mm. And my spirals. Mm, 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 mm. And then we can decorate this one too. This one, I'm gonna go with actual. Hmm, like a scenery. We're gonna do like mountains and a nice little green green grass with mountains in the background just get creative with it with some place you've always wanted to go and travel and see around the world draw that place or what you think that place would look like or your favorite place that your mom or dad takes you when you go out to eat what does it look like in there or your favorite place at camp if you've ever been to camp before, draw your favorite place. Is it the lake and the waterfront? Or maybe it's the ropes course? Or maybe it's even the sports field. If you love to go play basketball or soccer, or jump rope, anything like that. You can choose anything in the world to draw. That is what's so good. I'm draw pink mountains. You ever seen pink mountains? Me either. But that's okay. That is okay. Because I got pink mountains in my imagination. And that's all that matters. Oh man. These mountains are looking good and pink. Yes. Yes. So these are my mountains. Should I color them in? I'll color the top in. So that looks a little better. I know you guys are probably getting tired of me singing everything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just trying to make sure you guys are interested. I want to make sure y'all are having fun. Although it's just probably annoying, isn't it? 
Mm. Color in the tops of these mountains and my pink, pretty pink mountains. Across a nice little green grass. Mm, draw the sun up here. A nice big yellow sun. Because you gotta have a pretty yellow sun. Because you want your days to be bright. Try to have as least many days as possible. At least least many rainy days as possible. You want to have sunshine and lollipops and rainbows everywhere. That's an old one. You probably just won't know that song. But that's okay. Maybe some clouds. These are really terrible clouds, but that's all right. I know yours will look better than mine. Jeez. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now we got three sides done, guys. Three whole sides. Almost there. I think I'm just gonna write my name on this one. And all different colors. My favorite color though is blue. And this blue is so pretty. Oh, my favorite. So just, boop, boop, boop. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, of course. You can draw or write or say anything you want for your cardboard spinners because they are for you. So be as creative as you want to be. Okay, I'm not done, but I'm gonna show you my name, Sierra. Mm -hmm. All different colors. And then, doo -doo 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 -doo. what should I do? What should I do now? I think I'm gonna just draw a little squiggly underneath. That'll do. Maybe some hearts, some blue hearts, because blue's my favorite color. And some stars, maybe? Add some stars in there. Just to make it stand out. And ta-da! Boom. We have our cardboard spinners are finally decorated. Now, do you remember the paintbrush that I had you guys take out of your boxes, even though we weren't painting? This is why. So in the center of your little cardboard cutouts here, you're gonna just take your end, not the paintbrush side, See, not the paper side. We don't. We don't want. We don't want to do that. We don't. We don't want to do that. We want to take this end and we're gonna make two little holes. You're just gonna push it right through. Just twist it like that. Try not to break it because these are a little flimsy. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Might be a little harder for you if you need some help you can always ask mom dad big sister whoever's around to help you but it should go through like that right and now you got a little little tiny hole now you need to do one more right next to it so it's close not too close but then you just wiggle 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 it boom through now you got two holes 
for your cardboard spinners. Now you're gonna take the string that you got inside of your box as well. And you're gonna stick it through one side. Stick it through one side. Ooh. And try and make sure you get all the pieces so it doesn't curl up like that. You wanna try and get the whole piece of string right inside. If you need to, you can take the paintbrush and poke it through with the paintbrush. Ta-da! Then you're gonna take the other side of the string and go through the same way. So you see he pulled it through this way you're gonna poke it through the same way as you did the first one. I'm gonna use this to help me poke the string through. It's a lot more difficult than it looks, I'll tell you that. Ah, there we go. And you pull it through so you should have a little string like that and then a little bit of a longer string like I said your string probably will not be this long but that is okay I'm just gonna snip it just a little bit boom Then you're gonna give these ends a nice little tie. Give it a knot at the end so that it doesn't come undone. Of course, you wanna make it nice and tight. Okay, I'll show you what I did. Put it over, cross them, pull one behind, push it through, and pull nice and tight. Mm, 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 mm. Ta-da! So now it can't come apart. Then you're gonna pull this string back like this. It's supposed to create a nice little cardboard spinner. If it doesn't spin, that's all right. You can spin it this way instead. Spin up the string and woo like that. And you can look down at the top and see it spin, right? Ta-da! And there is your spinners. Here are your cardboard spinners. I hope you enjoyed decorating them or having fun just playing around. Just a little something that you can make with your sisters or your brother, mom, dad, cousins, anybody could make these. And it's just a fun little way to get through your day and um, just have a good time being kids, letting loose and enjoying your summer. It's important kids. Don't forget, after you're done, and you finish, clean up your mess, pick up all the little pieces of string that you have, papers go in the garbage, markers go back in the box, wherever you took your top off of, which happens to be my peanut butter, put it back on and clear your setting for your next activity. Have a great day, have a great summer, see you soon.